we work with people from ethnically diverse backgrounds and minoritized communities. At Plymouth and Devon Racial Equality Council, we work mainly with victims of uh, hate race incidents and we offer them support along this difficult process. As victim care workers, we want to make sure that the voices of our service users are being heard and listened to. This is why our service is always tailored around the needs of the victims and this is why we listen to them from the beginning and we consider their circumstances, wishes and feelings. We understand their cultural traditions and as well we address any potential risks. Some of the barriers that victims face when an incident happens are not knowing on how to report a hate incident or not having the confidence to do so because of the trauma. Sometimes it might be the difficulty of engaging due to a low English level. Um, some barriers might be around the cultural shock, stigma of being different, financial and social exclusion, or no family or community support. And some other challenges and uh, barriers that, um, that they face will also be um, translation. Um, many, uh, many of the victims will have English as a second language and will have learnt, you know, day-to-day -day, um, uh, translation in English. Um, however, I think when you put that in the context of a legal process and they're on a stand and they're giving, uh, um, giving um, their account of what happened and being cross-examined, then um, and translation is 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 a in their own language is is something that um, to to overcome um, the support and the trust of professionals will be another barrier uh, and then also the biggest thing is 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 reliving the trauma when people do go to court um, they will be you know they will have that fear of seeing the perpetrator again. Uh, and the family and friends um, and the supporters um, and that kind of really opens up, reopens up things for people. I think the most important things for uh, the victims of hate incidents, like for any other victim, is to feel safe, listened and care about. In order to do this, victims need to be given the information and to be explained what the next steps are. In this way, they will have the ability to make an informed decision and as well to focus on the healing process of trauma, which is very important.